Hello there. Many people have confusion about oscilloscope. Now the question is what is oscilloscope? Oscilloscope is something like our regular using multimeter. The difference between multimeter and oscilloscope that is our regular meter measuring present time based voltage. Other hand our oscilloscope is measuring present and previous time based with a parameter. That's why you can analyze your voltage perfectly. That's the reason you can know your voltage duty cycle. This is very important. Today in this video I will show you how to make an oscilloscope that will be in budget and is comfortable to use my homemade project. I don't know too much about oscilloscope yet I will try to describe it. When I searched on online store to buy it I saw that it was very expensive. Then I saw DSO 138 a small set oscilloscope which will fit in my budget and also this oscilloscope is good for my basic work. I know this can go maximum up to 1 megahertz in measuring. But see this price, it is not that expensive. Ok, let's try to find out how to properly assemble this oscilloscope and how to use it for your basic general purpose. This video is sponsored by JLCPCB. If you want to make some professional PCB for yourself and business purpose, then you can order it from GLC PCB. They make really awesome prototype PCB. And you can choose any type of color for your PCB. They don't take any extra charge for color. You only have to pay $2 for 10 PCBs. After 4 days I got this oscilloscope from Amazon. First I open this packet and see all component in divide in different packet. First I see a main PCB board. This PCB quality is not bad. And you can see here all SMD component already mounted. This company use here STM32F103CX 32 bit MCU as a brain of this oscilloscope. Even you can see here which component will be attested all written here. Other hand in including you got a measuring prof. This BNC prof is not a good quality but once look this price. And also you can see a packet they are totally fill in all component for oscilloscope. Including there you can found a unique display that is 2.4 inch. Also you can found here a manual book for proper assemble and proper working process. Remember this is important. Ok now time to assemble all parts so I open manual book. See here is written where which component will be mounted. Be careful in this case. First make sure and then mounted all parts. According to this manual book first I put all the register one by one on their places. Behind the board I banded all the register pin and soldered the pins. When I am doing this job, then I am feeling very frustrated. After completing this painful work, I mounted diode, capacitor, transistor, button switch, trimming capacitor, condenser, USB socket, female header, DC socket and proof clip socket in same way. See all component is mounted. I hope you don't miss anything. I fit 2.4 inch display in this female socket. And I set my power supply in 8 volt and powered up this oscilloscope. And you can see the oscilloscope is now boot up. And I hope you can see the time baseline. First you need to calibration this oscilloscope. For this you need to connect signal proof with this pin. From this pin peak to peak 3.3 volt 1 kHz signal is coming out. Ok, let's try to understand how to work this oscilloscope. This is 3 band switch. First ground. And you can see the signal shown here in this display. Next is AC measurement for C pure sine wave. Next DC, here you can measure square wave and sine wave. Sometime when we measure DC volt, there has a chance of having AC volt in it. When you cannot see AC wave, then you can switch to AC scale. Next switch is sense parameter. You can see there is written 1 volt, 0.1 volt and 10 millivolt. Actually this scale is for 10 times bigger and smaller power division of wave view, which will make easy to analyze your wave. Next X5, X2, X1, this is horizontal parameter view. And other side of this oscilloscope, you can see here 5 push button switch for different work purpose. First one is and resume switch. This button can help you to read web data for better analyze. Second and third is plus and minus for different purpose as a vertical axis view, horizontal shipment, wave shift and you can also change time base to press these two buttons. Fourth button is select for different selection option. Last button is for reset. For proper checking purpose, I make a PWM generator with 555 timer IC. 
I connect oscilloscope clip ground to ground and signal pin connect to IC's output pin. Ok see the square wave, even you can change your time base for better analyze. And here you can also see due to cycle, frequency and peak to peak voltage. Even if I reduce and increase PWM pulse, then you can see the wave parameter due to cycle and hertz. Other hand, you can hold select button to remove information menu. Or if you want to see this menu again, then hold once. Oscilloscope is a device that can help you for a perfect work experience. I hope you will like this video. If you like this video, then you can subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for a stay update.